Hey hi, this is RV and welcome to my channel. Here comes the eighth tutorial in the series of the tutorial for embed system, in which I'm going to show you how to make header file in embedded C. Okay. Previously, I have shown you how to blink a LED after each one second delay. So that's the design and that's the code for this. Okay. And now I'm going to make a header file in which a function has to be made. So that function will be called using a header file. Okay. So let's start. I'm going to make a blank file in which I'm going to paste this function and saving it as uh, what we say delay dot h dot h will be the extension for this header file and saving it in that folder where we save our project file so that's it and now i'm going to use hash include inverted comma for my user define header file and including in this way and after this I'm going to translate build and rebuild okay now loading this hex file that's the hex file header dot hex and playing it you can easily see my Delay has been including using a header file name delay dot h. Okay. Now, how if uh, if I use this delay two times, a error has been generated. This function has already exist in our project file or in our file, so we cannot re define this function in our project twice so this is big error for removing this error we generally use conditional preprocessor directives firstly we have to uh, define a preprocessor directive what we say uh, if not define underscore underscore delay I'm using delay in capital. Okay, you can use anything because this is just a macro. So after this, I'm going to define underscore underscore delay underscore h. And lastly, I have to end this conditional if using hash and if okay now what's the need for this architecture to be used for header file now if I use this this statement once in a file then it will firstly check if this macro has been defined or not now if I view this first first time so it is possible that this delay underscore h has not been defined once okay so we define it after define I define a delay function okay in the end we use end to end this subroutine or we can say that I ended this conditional preprocessor directly okay now what if I use this include the wise now remember this thing this macro has been defined previously so if I use this include delay dot h header file twice then it will jump to this instruction and check hash define if not define this now 
it is already defined so this statement this whole body should not be executed twice so in this way we can easily escape this error and use as maritime as header file because we generally used in our multiple program files so this is a good practice to use a function inside preprocessor conditional directive okay so that's it you can easily see my this delay is working properly and remember one thing that this delay header file should be included inside that folder where we make our project file that is header project file in that case okay so that's it for today it's generating an error because it's already open in another folder okay so that's it if you like this video please subscribe my channel the engineer in the Verma and do share. Thank you.